today we are looking into cheap and easy way to add haptics to your pedals. Hi, I am Stuyo and welcome to my garage. Rumble motors are not only cool but also very helpful addition to your pedals. Today we are looking in a cheap and easy way to add them to your setup. Start off by printing the motor mounts. In my setup I will be using four, two on the brake, one on the clutch and one on the gas pedal. Assembly is pretty straightforward, you just have to solder the correct length of wires and press the motors into their adapters. Pedal Rumble is really informative and helpful. It provides you immediate feedback of what your car is currently doing. Control box is nothing special, it holds the Arduino Uno and the motor shield itself. I repositioned the motor connectors on the shield's breadboard space. Use it also to extend with some other peripherals like my RGB lights and the left counter. Installation on pedal arms is pretty straightforward. The mounting brackets themselves they have offset holes. This is important because brake uses different spacing than the other two pedals. Routing the cable is easy enough using zip ties. Proceed in the same fashion with the brake pedal. Remove the retention screws and then mount the bracket on. I am using two rumble motors on my brake pedal. This allows me to assign different effects. Nothing special about the control box, just mount it in a suitable place and connect all the cables. Software configuration as everything with SimHub it's pretty easy. After you configure your Arduino and connect it in SimHub, you have to identify on which channel your motors are connected. In my setup I have 7 channels. The first 3 are for my wind sim and the next 4 are for the rumble motors. After you identify the correct channels, you can start assigning effects. The first brake motor I assigned to V-Walk and on the second I added a simulated road texture just for fun. Rear wheel slip will be assigned to the gas pedal. And to round everything off I am assigning gear change to the clutch pedal. Now let's enable the effects themselves. Switch to the effects profile tab and make sure the overall volume is at 100%. For gear shift I used the default settings, only enabled it and placed it at 100%. For the wheel walk I switched it to mono channel, so all the wheels are represented by a single motor and the other settings I change is the minimal force. This will ensure I get a strong immediate effect the moment my wheels start to walk. Next is the wheel slip. I left it at 4 channel because I'm interested only in losing traction in the back wheels. I kept it at default settings. Next it's the simulated road texture. It is a fun effect and I placed it on the second brake motor. Just put your foot on the brake and select the level you like. Don't make it too strong because it will overlap with the wheel walk effect. All these settings in details you will find in the video description. And now comes the fun part, we finally get to test our rumble motors in my favorite game, Dirt Rally 2. Enjoy!
six right into six left over crest. Extra long. Sixty. Keep right over crest. Caution. Slow. Keep right over fifty. Turn one left unseen. Keep left over jump. Left and keep right into caution. Six left over the long over jump. Tightens the four. Into the three right long. Open to a crest. Eighty. Thank you. 